What's up guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to get amazing close-up macro photography shots like this and many more using a cheap point-and-shoot digital camera and a clip-on macro lens. So what I have in front of me is an assassin bug and I have my camera set up on the tripod and I have a macro lens on the front. So here's the macro lens. This is a Raynox DCR 150. There's also a 250 model that is available and this is a lens being sold in Japan and you can get it online for about 50 bucks and this will clip on to many different types of digital cameras. I'm using a Canon PowerShot SX40HS. I also own the 60HS from Canon and as you can see it just clips onto the front and what you can do is you can zoom in on insects. So here's this assassin bug climbing up a tree branch right here or a branch of a plant. I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm about six inches away and then I'm gonna use my manual focus in AV mode and I'm just gonna adjust the focus. And you can get in really close to get in super macro photos you just have to get the focus right and then focus in on its eyeballs and then snap your photo. The further you zoom out, the closer in you're gonna need to adjust your focus and then hold down the shutter button and click and you take a shot. So I can record in 1080p and take photos with this setup at the same time. And this camera is available on eBay in used condition for $100. They sell for about $100 to $150. Just make sure there are no scratches on the front of your lens. Get a good photo from the seller of the lens. And that's all you got to do. I'm about six inches away from my target. And I just zoom in. And if it's blurry, then I'm either too far away or too close physically to the target. So you can see if I move the camera physically back, it's gonna focus in, see? I moved it back about two inches and it's focused now. If I wanna zoom in even closer, as you can see it gets blurry, but if I pick up the tripod again and move the camera backwards, now we're in focus again and I don't have to adjust the manual zoom either but I can also make small adjustments with the manual focus by simply spinning the focus wheel and I can zoom in and out a certain amount and that's as easy as macro photography is using a modern digital camera with a clip-on macro lens the hardest part is finding a day with little to no wind and actually getting your target to stay still. So I'm gonna try to get around. The cool thing with this setup too is that you can literally do this handheld. You don't need a tripod if you have good, um, good stabilizing with your hands if you can hold the camera still. So I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna zoom in. and I'm holding the camera, it's not sitting on the ground and I can snap my photos. All you have to do for handheld is try to focus in on the eyeballs and then snap your shot and with a nice shutter speed you can really get good shots handheld. You just have to get that sweet spot of focus, hold down the shutter button, focus in on the eyes okay so I lost my shot he's going behind that piece of wood but that's all there is to it I'm using a Canon PowerShot SX40HS with a Raynox clip-on lens on the front and this is giving me super zoom with my optical zoom that's built into the camera and you can do this with any camera that this will clip onto the front too. So buy this $50 lens, go to the store and check out some different cameras. If this fits, that camera will work. And then you can hop on eBay and get it for very cheap and used condition. 